Well met. Welcome to another random underscore 14 YouTube video. Just when we were starting to make progress, and to make matters worse, the caravan they spoke of was bound for revenants toll of all places. Honestly, were I so inclined, I should think the gods were conspiring against us. Happily, however, I am not. I would know more of this attack. Let us speak with Lord Horshvant and find out what he has learned. I am come to hear Lord Hawketh and speak, not you. We must needs find the heretics and, no, it will avail us not to rush. Let us hear what Lord Horshvant has to say first. My sincerest apologies for the interruption, my friends, but the situation is such that we must act swiftly. If you would be so kind as to elaborate, Icehearts heretics fell upon the caravan bound for Revenant's toll as it was passing through Boulder Downs. Twas an ambush, swift and ruthless, in an instant, every knight was slain, every crate seized, then, as quickly as they had appeared, they were gone. Twould be an impossible feat without knowledge of the route, knowledge to which only a select few are privy, I presume. Quite. We can pursue that avenue of inquiry in due course. It seems to me that examining the scene of the ambush should be our first concern. The trail is yet warm. We must act swiftly, as Lord Horshvant said, lest crucial evidence be lost. You have a knack for discerning hidden truths, Kainekatine. Why don't you go and inspect the ambush site in person? An excellent idea. Inform my men of your intent upon arrival, and they will gladly share their findings. Adventurer. There's nothing for, eh? Lord Orchafan did you speak with us? Then you must be, beg your pardon, Scion. As you can see, they left nary a crate behind. Tip the wagon for good measure even. 
whole thing's a bit odd, if you ask me. Would have been easier to just steal it, though a damn sight harder to conceal it, I'll allow. Reckon they came prepared, probably with wagons of their own hidden away off. Ah, but pay no heed to my ramblings. Absent of proof, tis naught but speculation. Might be as the squire receiving care at the observatorium could tell you something more factual. That is, if he's awake. Unlike myself, he was there during the attack, not that his presence amounted to much. Sorry, Sion, but if it's answers you want, I've got none for you. Best go and see what that squire laid up at the observatorium remembers if he's fit to speak. to ask about the attack, haven't you? We came upon them before the entrance to the Hall of the Seven Echoes. Pilgrims, we marked them as, lost and ill-equipped for a journey further north. Our leader called out to them, and one stepped forward to answer. Slowly she approached, her silver hair flowing in the wind like melting snow. Just a young girl, I thought, some poor lost lamb in search of salvation. Our leader must have thought the same, else why would he let her draw so close? They exchanged some words I couldn't hear, and she leaned forward as if to kiss his cheek, and then he sighed and crumpled to the ground. I didn't know what had happened till I saw the snow turn red. And then there was red everywhere I looked. I tried to fight, but took a blow to the head, and by the time I came to, the others were dead and the heretics were unloading the wagon. I couldn't. I, I mean, they'd have killed me, so. So I just lay still and listened. Iceheart's people spoke of deliverance and resurrection. And, they spoke of Shiva. To hear them speak, they truly believe they can resurrect Shiva. But that can't be possible, can it? It can't. Do not dare question our ways, unbeliever. Welcome back, old friend. I, oh dear, Alpha knows looking this way. I do not think he likes being ignored. Ah, you've returned. What news have you for us? It seems the Lady Iceheart does not scruple to sully her hands with blood. Who is this Shiva the heretic spoke of? Have you not read a single line of the entire Iridian, Master Alphano? Shiva was a traitor to kith and kin, an apostate who lay down with dragons. Now, now, we cannot expect all foreigners to know Ishgardian scripture so well, particularly when it concerns the patron saints of heretics. Wait, you say she is their patron saint? Oh, no. It all makes sense now. Lord Horshvant, what was the caravan's cargo? 
Ah, if I recall correctly, the Diamond Forge had requested a rather large quantity of crystals. Do you not see? Iceheart and her followers intend to summon Shiva as a beast tribe would a primal. Why else would they go to such lengths to secure crystals? I shall inform the Lord Commander at once. Lord Hawkefant, you would agree that discretion is of paramount concern? Of course. I trust we can count on your continued support, Master Alphano. The signs of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to combat the primal threat. Our support is a given. I will need to send word to my brethren in Revenant's Toll. Our entire order must turn its efforts to the prevention of this summoning. Naturally, that includes you, though I am sure you would not miss this for the world. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Farewell.